Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. The new DLC has dropped. Free DLC five days after being announced at the Game Awards. God of War Ragnarok Valhalla. I am super pumped. I have not played God of War Ragnarok since my playthrough ended that I can remember. Did I get the Platinum Trophy on stream? I got the Platinum Trophy, so I might have played it a little bit after my playthrough ended to get the Platinum, but uh, that was it. So, I have not played in a hot minute. I'm going to be very rusty, so I apologize for how poorly I'll be playing at the start. Hopefully, we shake the rust off pretty quickly. But without further ado, let's get into God of War Ragnarok Valhalla and see what's happening. The following content is meant to be experienced after the completion of God of War Ragnarok and will complete, or complete, will contain spoilers. I do wish to proceed because I have completed the game. Okay. Valhalla is combat-focused adventure that rewards overcoming challenge. You're encouraged to change difficulties during your experience to find an ideal level of uh, enjoyment. Words, yeah. Recommended starting combat difficulty, increased difficulty, greatly increased, the highest combat. I, I have not played in a hot minute. Let's, let's do show me courage. We'll just go middle of the road. My headset is way too loud. It might be too loud on stream chat. Let me know if I need to turn it down. Arietta Vincent Sandwich, welcome to stream. Anyone else? Hello? It's the chair from the Game Awards thing! They showed this in the trailer! I still can't believe that they released this DLC like this, and that it's free at that. You are certain you remember nothing of this place? Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? The invitation. Oh, I'm in control? Yo, let's go. Oh, that's comforting. Yo, my boy, Mimir. The God of War games Look, were so fun. I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. Valkyrie statue? A little bit of trouble, some friction between Kratos and Freya? I thought we were all good at the end of Let's Ragnarok. Your head. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Invitation? Are we joining Smash Bros? That'd be wild. Well, here we are. Kratos, why are you wearing a shirt? That's not very Kratos of you. to basics then oh am i like at least semi shirtless now all right this is better less clothing explore the black sand shore okay i gotta remember how to play this dang game spartan rage is l3 and r3 r1 is r1 and r2 okay yeah so like light attack heavy attack how do you bring out the axe again right it's the d-pad to bring out the axe and we also have gungner no, well, this isn't Gungnir, this is something like, else, isn't it? Like we plunged into a dream. <laughs> right, and then those explode. I remember loving the spear. Gungnir is Odin's spear. What is this spear called? Circle to jump up, not X. X is quick dodge. A refresher of controls and gameplay concepts can be found in the codex under lessons. You know? You know, I may need to take just a, a quick look at that. L and R to move and look around, yada yada. Circle to jump. Weapons. Axe, aim, and recall. Throw the axe by holding L2 to aim. Press R1 and R2 to release. Triangle to recall. Triangle to frost. Yada, yada. The Dropner. That's what it is. Dropner spear. Triangle to detonate. L2 and R2 for powerful wind burst. I think the wind burst was lame. We have the Blades of Chaos. Yada, yada, yada. 
R1 pulls enemy ends and R2 ignites enemies or objects in flame. Got it, got it, got it. Mass triangle to charge up the blaze with fire, etc. Quickly double tap L1 to break into enemies, defenses, or interrupt blue ring attacks. Oh, that's right. Enemies like show rings that tell me how I'm supposed to do stuff. Enemies attack with colored rings can be blocked with L1 or parried by tapping L1 at the right time. Quickly double tap L1 to break defenses or interrupt blue. Shields can change double tap L1 abilities, etc., etc. Spartan Rage with L3, R3. Hold L1 and press R1 to use a light runic attack. Hold L1 and press R2. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you know, we'll, we'll get it as we go. I don't think I have any runic things right now. They've been taken away from me. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll work this out. Yeah, and then up does nothing. Up does nothing. All right, Mimir, this is, <laughs> you know, it's going to be a little rough. It's going to be a little rough, but we'll make it work. It'll, it'll all pan out. So this DLC is supposed to be a roguelike, by the way, which basically means you're meant to uh, do a run, basically, and usually die on those runs, but get, like, more upgrades and stuff over time to give you more success rate with each subsequent run until you get a run that gets you to the very end, or whatever the end is. Some roguelikes don't even have, like, an end point where you, like, win a run. Some roguelikes are just, like, you just go as far as you can until you die. But normally there's like a success you can get in a run if you do well enough. So this is supposed to be a roguelike. You might not be able to tell. Seem anyone Wait a minute. Here to welcome us. I'm being spoken to. You probably can't tell by looking at my channel, but I'm actually really into roguelikes. I just don't make content out of them usually. I played a lot of Slay the Spire and a lot of Enter the Gungeon. Those are my two favorite roguelikes. I've also played a good bit of Dicey Dungeons and... Monster Train and probably a couple others. I can't think of off the top of my head I used to play Binding of Isaac a little bit here and there, but not a ton. So uh, I am Really into roguelikes and I'm very excited for this DLC as a result Hello there It is I Kratos Locked I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave Nah Where are the CL4? Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. It's a good thing we're so dang buff that we can just force this door open. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do you not see these muscles? That got loud. The lower realms of Valhalla. Is wrong. I feel weaker. Valhalla may not appreciate our breaking in. Oh. Spooky. Oh, hi. Stay back. Stay back, I said. Explode. I forgot you can charge this bad boy and it does the six spin move. Stay back, I said. What part of stay back do you not get, dumb idiots? You're still alive? Not for long. Idiot. What are the sort of foes I expected to encounter here? Curious. It seems like combat gets really loud. How was that? Was that sounding too loud, chat? Looks like I have all of that maxed out. I can turn... I'm going to turn down sound effects to seven because that seemed really loud. And we'll see how it goes. Hello. Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. Ooh, this is a classic roguelike mechanic. Slicing finish adds a concussive wave to the end of the axe R1 combo, or Dropner's Whale Plus. Drastically increases the power of the Dropner's Whale skill. Show skill video. What is Dropner's Dropner's Whale? Oh, it's the explosion thing I do? Well, then on, I like, I remember liking Dropner more than the Leviathan Axe, so we're gonna go with Dropner's Whale. Glyphs provide combat bonuses for this attempt. Pog? Oh, I see. Okay, very interesting. Weapon glyphs and powered weapons and perk glyphs provide unique effects. Stat glyphs increase Kratos' attributes for this attempt. 
Each chest has a floating symbol that indicates the type of reward inside. Press L3 to view the symbols. Kratos or Kratos? I don't remember how they say it in this game. The thing is, is um, there's another character named Kratos or Kratos in Tales of Symphonia, and they say it differently. So, like, Kratos and Kratos, I've heard the name pronounced both ways. It depends on what game you're playing, I guess. In Symphonia, I think it's Kratos. But in this game, it's Kratos, I want to say? I'm not sure. Alright, press L3 to view the symbols overview. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of information. This is a lot of information. Perk Glyph, unique combat and gameplay capabilities, increased to core stats such as strength and defense for stats glyph, weapon glyph is bonus to specific weapons or weapon skills, runic attack glyph, special abilities imbued to a weapon that must recharge over time, mixed glyph, a mix of all glyph types, interesting, refill, restores health or rage, I love having my rage restored, fleeting echoes, a temporary resource that can be spent at tablets of endeavor to improve your chances of survival, okay, okay. Mastery Seal, a persistent resource that can be spent at the Tablet of Reflection upon the shore for various permanent upgrades to Kratos. Very, very, uh, roguelike. Spirit Seal, a persistent resource that can be spent at the Tablet of Influence upon the shore for various permanent upgrades to Valhalla itself. And then Divine Triumph, a very valuable persistent resource used for certain upgrades at the Tablet of Reflection and Tablet of Influence upon the shore. All right. At least you're not going in completely hobbled. Only mildly hobbled. I have 39 something. Are those the fleeting whatevers that I'm seeing right there? Yo, open up, it's your boy. Oh, you you guys quick, huh? Get back. I just upgraded this, I'll have you know. I just upgraded it to hurt you a lot. Ooh, that does seem like a big buff. Something behind me. Uh, that is fleeting echoes down there. Okay. All right. I appreciate the game softballing the enemies at the start. Mountain Splitter. Repeated long range wind slices that stagger enemies. Press R1 precisely while slashing to enhance each wave. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. I think I remember that. Thrust of a thousand soldiers. Perform a flurry of stabs with Dropner, which embeds spears into the enemy. This should combo, I think I used this one in the playthrough, and it should combo really well because we've upgraded the explosion move. So yeah, give me that. My shield will not open. Uh-oh. That's less than ideal. I like having shields. Hello. That was bright. Okay, we're somewhere else now. Huh. What the heck is this? Hello there. Not permitted that way, it seems. And no way to pry it open. Okay. In that case, we will go this That's way. the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. I have a feeling it's going to stop being peaceful. We believe Freya would have aided us in this. Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win win either way, really? I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. I'm nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. We're getting a lot of these mastery seals, more than I was expecting. I thought they would be giga rare. So, a little bit of trouble between Freya and Kratos. Mostly on Kratos' end, because, you know, he's being Kratos. I'm really intrigued, especially because this is a roguelike, how much, like, additional lore we're going to be getting with, like, the God of War franchise. I know that they're, like, done with Norse stuff now, because, you know, we finished off... finished off Odin and basically blew up Asgard and whatnot, so, you know, we're done with that. 
but I'm sure they're planning on moving Kratos on to some other kind of mythology next. And I am very excited to see what it'll be. I'm hoping for Japanese myself, because as we all know, I'm a weeb. But I'm down for anything. I think they were really, weren't they, uh... Weren't they kind of foreshadowing Egyptian stuff at some point? I'd also be very down with Egyptian stuff. Nothing going on there. I think we're just going through this door right here. Hello, door. Hello. Hi there. Oh, you have something over you. I don't remember what that means. I don't remember what it means. Send help. Nope. All right, difficulty has been raised. I don't remember, ah, wrong button. I don't remember what Bifrost is. I keep hitting R1 to dodge and R1 is attack. Return to the shore. All right, that didn't take long. <laughs> I was trying to use my rage there, but it wouldn't let me for some reason. Did I lose my rage when I went in? Oh, hello. We're back outside. Oh, hey, Mimir. You oh, Freya. marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. My boy! And the other matter we discussed? You're still... Thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. Ominous? Didn't expect Freya to show up so fast. The game probably didn't expect me to die so quickly, to be fair. All right, gentlemen. Let's send you in properly prepared this time. Invitation right. accepted. Valhalla requires you to perform the ritual of selection. Freya is a new lore entry? This is not lore. Hello. Okay, so I get to pick just any shield I want. Double tap L1 to quickly shield check an enemy and break their guard. Form of the Guardian Shield with a much smaller parry window, but stronger special counterattacks. No, I want good parry timing. Punch and blow enemies backward, increasing power when fully charged, yada yada. Okay. Double tap L1 to shield bash for high stun damage. 